Now the only thing that I would like to do to make this better would be to give the gopher, whoops, I forgot to put the mask back in, would be to give the gopher a, um, a little bit more movement here in the middle while he's up out of the hole. So what we're going to do is um, I'm going to go here to frame 60 and I am going to start by selecting just that keyframe and I can do that by holding down the command key while I click on it. Then when I hit control and click I can choose insert keyframe all. And it's not actually inserting a keyframe because there's already one there, but it's letting it be more than just a position keyframe. Okay, so he's coming up and he's in the center of the screen. And um, in the movie, the gopher does little dances. And so that's what we're going to make him do. So every 10 frames, we are going to make him move and rotate a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to move my keyframe over here to 70 now. And I want to insert a keyframe. And I can do that with the F6. And I want to click on him. Oh, whoops. Sorry, he's locked. And I need to hide that mask. Okay. Um, so I inserted the keyframe. And now what I need to do is select the gopher. And I'm just going to hit my um, arrow key on the keyboard the right arrow key, and I'm going to do it 10 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And that's just moving him subtly, okay? Then I'm going to use my transform tool here, and I am going to rotate just a little bit to the right. Okay, and then I'm going to come over here to 80, and I'm going to insert a keyframe. I'm going to rotate him to the left so that he is in the center again and move him to 10 spots back to the left 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and then 10 frames later I have insert a keyframe and then I can move him to the left 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and rotate him a little bit to the left okay now you can see how this is building here okay so up and now we already have him doing a little bit of shimmying here on on his dance floor and here we will put him back to the center and it doesn't have to be perfect he is dancing however okay and 10 insert a keyframe and this is going to go to the right and a little rotate and 20 it's going to be back to the middle insert a keyframe whoops and Okay, and then one more, and just by luck, I had the numbers perfect because here in 140, he's already back to the center. Okay, so here let me push it back to frame one now, and let me put my mask apply it again and I'll hit return here comes the gopher he's gonna do a little dance and then he's going to hide back into his hole okay so that is what we have now now what we want to do is add some sound what I really wanted to do was to be able to put a gopher sound effect on him um, when he pops up out of his hole, but I wasn't able to find a gopher. So instead, we are going to use a 20-second clip from the song that was made popular with the movie Caddyshack, which is where I got this idea from. So let's go ahead and import, just like we did with um, previous assignments, import to library, 
and you'll find this I'm all right 20 seconds in your um, in Poland pickup you actually should copy that file into your flash file in schools um, you don't want to import it from Poland pickup because sometimes um, flash does funny things when it works on a server okay so copy it from Poland pickup first then import to library you'll see it pop up here we're going to create a new layer which we can quickly name sound and all I'm going to do is make sure that my playhead is over frame one so that the music is inserted at frame one and I'm just going to drag it here you don't see anything on your stage where you see it is here on your timeline you can see the waveforms so click anywhere in those and go to your properties panel um, once you go to your properties panel you're gonna see a few things um, whoops here it is uh, your properties for this song it tells you what the name of the clip is it tells you if there's an effect we should go ahead and make it fade out okay and under sync we want it to stream and we want repeat just one time and the reason is after I save this and preview this um, when I preview it each time it plays it will restart the music at the beginning of the animation like this okay so it starts over each time if you had it with some different settings it would not actually start over so this is the end of it remember to save into your um, flash folder in schools and remember that the swift file which is the one you publish by doing command return um, is the one that you are going to upload to your google site